It seems like Acclaim has been making baseball since before Bud Selig was born. Their 2000 release was hailed as the best looking title on the N64. But we all know that dynasties fade and the world changes. So, does All-Star Baseball 2005 have the muscle to keep up with today's bad boys of summer? Sometimes I hit the wall so hard, it rattles my brain. The core of the baseball engine is a realistic pitching-batting interface that provides a full roster of options. Smoke. The 3D batting cursor returns, tweaked to be a more versatile home run hitter. But you're also more likely to whiff it. If you're frustrated with the difficulty level, you can use the timed or zone hitting methods instead. There's a high chop. Meanwhile, a mere 60 feet 6 inches away, the claimed solid pitching model continues to work without the need of relief. The broadcast camera, with its behind the mound view, is a pleasingly realistic view of the game. And most pitches are really well represented. The pitcher has been ejected. But problems persist among the men on the field. The ball isn't as well represented as we'd like, either from the physics angle or visually. In some plays, the ball would disappear from view altogether. Out of play and rule to ground, rule double. Players sometimes do not respond to the ball or make incredibly poor throwing decisions, making it unrealistic even by Milwaukee brouhaha standards. Safe. Thankfully, all the franchise favorites return, including batting practice, home run derby, and the sports geek-pleasing trivia. All the stadiums look solid, and even the crowd is beginning to look realistic. The animations show some improvement, but ASB really needs to implement picture-in-picture -picture base running, as the old-school graphic depicting runners isn't cutting it. Like so many titles we've seen in spring training's past, All-Star Baseball's hot zones, pitching and batting, nabbed by the shortstop, are undermined by the same letdowns that have plagued the series since it hit next-gen consoles. Look out down there. It's worth a look for pure approachability in the many play modes, but sadly, just doesn't live up to its name. We give it strike three out of five.